YouTube, this is Justin coming back with another episode of Interesting Animal Art. This is uh, the new year, 2021. Wishing you guys a happy new year and best wishes. Today I thought I'd just spend a few minutes uh, just talking about uh, an art review supply. Just some basic supplies that I use and um, just a quick review of these supplies and maybe this might be helpful for you. First of all, I'd like to talk about uh, the canvas I typically use. I get my canvas from Hobby Lobby and they have three types. They have the fine touch canvas like the super value canvas lower grade and then they have this type which I use. It's the master's touch artist canvas classic collection. It has a little bit thicker a higher quality cotton and it's primed with gesso three times and it's got the kiln dried stretcher bars. On the back you know you can see the wooden bars that's where the canvas is stretched. They also sell a higher quality level than this and that's the Master's Touch Grandeur Collection. That's if you're doing really large scale work. The canvas is even a heavier cotton duck and um, it's got a heavier gesso prime but I like this type of uh, this middle range canvas from Hobby Lobby the classic collection because they have enough interesting sizes and shapes that you can usually do most work um, you know if you're looking at landscape or portrait they have enough sizes I think that are um, helpful or applicable to what you might be doing and not as expensive the grandeur collection gets quite bigger in size and cost um, so that's the canvas I use. I think um, Hobby Lobby tends to have probably the best prices. You can see right there, 20 by 24, 15.99, and they have 50% off sales. So therefore, you can get some good deals, cheaper than Michaels, I would say. Next, I'm going to talk briefly about the brushes that I use a lot. I use uh, Royal and Lacknickel Moderna. 47, they're all media range. It's made out of, uh, the brushes are made out of synthetic gold taclon, very durable, mixed media. You can use it for oil, acrylic, and watercolor. And the shorter handles, I think, are helpful. This is a number three round, um, it's got a purple handle, it's made out of ABS plastic. So it's very durable. It's less prone. Um, well, it's not really going to crack at all if you had a paintbrush with a wooden handle. And these are very durable. Um, the Moderno 57, or excuse me, 40, um, 47 range. Multiple sizes, smaller handle size, and um, you know you can find them in browns, um, you know, flats. Um, all the different types of uh, sizes you, you would expect and they're very durable again you can mix them uh, with any media medium so media um, and I you know I like them I've washed these over and over again and um, the plastic handles are very durable and they're not that expensive you can find these local art store you can find these online they're widely available and lastly um, just like to talk to you guys about the master soap. Um, this is a uh, artist bar soap. It's been around since I think the late 1970s and you can clean your hands with it whether you're using oil, watercolor, acrylic and it's really good for getting petroleum based uh, products out. You know heavy grime, a lot of oil, heavy oil that you might find um, in your fingernails. Um, it's non-toxic um, it's not abrasive, it doesn't have lanolin in it, and it's um, also um, not too expensive. I think this is a four ounce bar, four and a half ounce bar, and it's um, I think about five dollars, so it's fairly reasonably priced. Um, and again, you know, you can use palm olive, but I like this uh, master soap, I think for the price, it's not bad and it's non-toxic and it's not abrasive at all. 
Um, so guys, uh, reviewing quickly canvas that I use and typically the main brushes that I use, Moderna by Royal Lack Nickel and the artist soap. What I'm going to be doing this year, 2021, is doing more art um, supply reviews and try to make this a more regular uh, addition um, to uh, my channel. So guys, uh, I wish you the best for painting in 2021. And this has been Justin's Justin Bartlow's Animal Art channel. Talk to you guys later. Bye.